Hi everyone, I'm Rob and welcome to my tutorial on how to make an origami gift box. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make the gift box using a piece of square paper. I'm going to be using printer paper, but if you have origami or any type of square paper, that should be fine also. If you're going to be using printer paper like I am, what you want to do is you want to take this corner, fold it down so that this edge is aligned with the side, and you want to cut off the excess paper so that you have something like this. When you open it up, you will have a piece of square paper that has a diagonal fold going this way. Once you have a piece of paper like that, we're going to take this corner now and we're going to fold it down to this corner and make sure that everything is lined up perfectly. Then you can make a crease. And when you open it, you should have a piece of paper that now has an X in it. To make things a little bit easier for you to see, I've drawn an X in the center of the paper on the two diagonal folds which we previously created. What we need to do now is to take each of these corners and fold them down so that the tip of the corner is directly on the center of that X. And as you'll see, this diagonal fold should basically be folded on top of itself. So you want it to be lined up just like that until the tip of the corner is directly in the middle of the X, just like that, and then you can make a crease. And you want to do that with the remaining three corners. When you're done, you should have something that looks just like this. Now we're going to unfold the corners that we previously folded in towards the center. And now what we have formed is we have formed these creases here. In the center of that crease, you'll notice there is a vertical fold and the two meet right there at the little plus symbol. What we want to do is we want to take the opposite corner, meaning we want to take this corner and we're going to fold it directly into the middle of that plus. And we're going to do that for each of the four corners. So you want to take the corner and you're going to fold it all the way up until it meets the middle of that plus and then you're going to make a crease. So you should have something that looks just like that. Then you're going to unfold that and you're going to do the same for the other corners. So when you're done, you should have something that looks just like this. Okay, so this next part is going to be a little bit tricky, but as usual, I'm going to go through in as much detail as I can to make things as simple for you as possible. The size of the box, as you'll see, is the same size as this inner box, this inner square that I have outlined here. If you would like to draw the lines that I have here, it might help you in making the next folds. What we're going to do now is we're going to work on the wall or the corner of the box. Basically this area right here we're going to be working on. What we need to do is we need to lift up these two top corners. So we're going to be lifting up these two top corners along these folds here. So you want to lift them up and as you'll see that little area that I have marked off the V with this dotted line, that should it should kind of fold downwards and it will crease along that dotted line. Now I'm sure that many of you are lifting up the corners and you're getting something like that. You're like, no, it's not doing that. Well, it's a little bit tough if you don't have really, really good creases along these lines. So what you do, fold it along this line here, take your fingernail and run it down that crease as hard as you can. Open it and do the same along this line here. Run your fingernail against it. Okay, now when you lift up these two flaps, just kind of gently push here and you'll see that should kind of fold in just like that and that's exactly what you want it to look like. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna go through how to do one corner and then you're going to go through the rest because they're identical. It's a little bit hard for me to show this on camera because when I start making these folds, this part's going to get in the way. So what you want to do, you're going to lift up the corners 
along these lines here. So lift it up just like that and as you'll see mine has been tucked in just like it should be along that dotted line. What I want to do now is I'm going to crease that dotted line just like that. So as you'll see I have created a corner or a wall there. So now what we want to do I'm going to lay this flat like this I'm going to fold this edge here that has the dotted line on it I'm going to fold it onto this line here of the wall. So I want to take it I'm going to fold it so that dotted line is along the, the corner of the wall here and then I want to make a crease. Make a really good crease. So if you want to run your fingernail against that one also, you could do that. Unfold it. Then we're going to take this edge of the triangle and we're going to fold it onto that same line. So we're going to fold it upwards like that. And you want to fold it just like that onto that line. So, when you unfold it, you should notice that we have two creases now. One's going like this, and the other one is going like this. So you should have something that looks just like that. Okay, so to get a really good angle on this part right here, I had to cut off the other remaining parts of the box. So I just have this one corner I'm going to show you how to do in detail. What you should have is something that looks just like this. And as you'll see, I drew two lines here where we made those two creases, and I've done the same on the other side. So what you want to do is you want to have these two corners flat on the table, and you want this sticking straight up in the air. You want to make sure that these edges underneath here are directly together just like that. You want to open this pocket here of this triangle and you want to push straight down on that dotted line I drew so that that dotted line is directly in the middle of those two edges and then you want to crease on both sides so that that is flat. Okay so now that you have this little triangle flattened out you'll notice if you look close up that there is a fold or a crease leading from the corner of this line directly to the center of the dotted line here on the bottom. So if you draw two lines like that, it might make this next fold a little bit easier. What we're going to do is we're going to lift this up and you want to tuck this corner you want to tuck it inwards just like that. So if you fold this edge here, this edge, if you fold it on the midline like that, and then you kind of push it up all the way, you'll notice that it will bend on that line that I drew. And then just flatten out that crease. Do the same with the left side. So, as you'll see, there is a crease right here. And you want to fold on that crease so that this edge is on the midline. Keep going all the way up. Keep folding along the edge here until that whole edge folds all the way up to the top and it makes a point. You should have something that looks just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to just push down on that point so that it's facing towards you. So you should have something that looks just like this. Okay, so we've pretty much finished the first corner of the box. What you want to do now that you have something that looks like this is you want to fold along this crease here you want to fold this flap outwards and down and you want to do the same with this one so fold along this line here all the way down as you'll see you should have a triangle sticking up just like that 
what you want to do is you just want to take the tip and you want to fold it inwards as far as it can go so that it is level with the height of the box. And then what you want to do is to just kind of pinch the corner just like that and you have finished making one corner of the box. So you need to do that with the remaining three corners. Okay, so if you've done the same procedure with the remaining three corners, you should have something that looks just like this. What we're going to do now is we're just going to fold these flaps of the box so that we can actually interlock them. So what you want to do is you'll see this dotted line. You want to take this side of the flap and you want to fold it so that this corner meets this corner right here. Basically we're going to be folding on that dotted line. So when you fold it down you'll notice this edge will align with this edge and this corner will meet this uh, corner right here. So you fold it just like that and then you make a crease. So your flap should look just like that. You want to do that with the remaining three flaps. So you should have a box that looks just like this. Okay, so the final step of making the origami gift box is to interlock the flaps. Now since we folded this to the left, we need to go in a counterclockwise direction. If you folded it to the right like that, then you can go in a clockwise direction. But I'm not going to try to confuse you. So, I'm going to start with the bottom flap and I'm going to fold that in first. You might need to make some creases here on the outside of the box also. So you start with the bottom one, then you go in a counterclockwise direction. So number two is the flap to the right. One, two, fold the top flap down on top of that, which is three. Now the last flap is going to go over the third flap and underneath the first flap. So you got to tuck it in right here. So it's going to go, bend the, you could bend it a little bit to make it easier. Going to go over the third flap and under the first flap. So it's going to look something just like that. And as always, you might have to make some creases there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial for how to make the origami gift box. And please comment, rate, and subscribe for future notification of my videos. Thanks for watching.